up guys big d Wiz, old school stereo.com here on the makeshift test bench with an old rockford 200 dsm series from about 1993 have it hooked up to the amp dyno we have four gauge wire coming from our battery which is being charged by the 50 amp uh, slash 300 amp hybrid charger which is acting like an alternator to the battery four gauge wire coming out and then we have it split into eight gauge because that's as large as this amp will take but anyway just wanted to make a really quick video here um i'm going to show you most of the results using like slideshow because i've already taken pictures of all the results but what i'm going to do here is just show you some of the more impressive results that i that i got and i'll just do a slideshow for the other one so hang on to your hats All right guys, so what I'm gonna show you first is just a uh, certified run at four ohms mono. We have it bridged. And we set the track to the right one. Let's go to track four and start the dyno and start the track. And let's see what we get here. All right, 418 watts that's certified at 12.47 volts. So the amp is rated at 400 watts at um, 4 ohms mono. So hey, it beat its rating, so pretty cool. But uh, let me show you some of the other results I got. Check this out. All right, so what I'm gonna show you this time is the uncertified run and again we're going to do it at mono but this time we're going to jump to two ohms mono now this amp is not rated to handle two ohms mono but those of you guys who know the old school rockford stuff know that uh a lot of these can handle that so check this out we're going to go ahead and um let's see get it on track four and let's go ahead and start the dyno and unpause the track Watch that baby climb. Look at those numbers, guys. Unbelievable. 859 watts. Look at that. 859 watts at 2 ohms mono. Absolutely incredible, insane, off the charts, unbelievable. Just not even real. But it gets a little bit better. I've got one more test I'm going to show you before I do the slideshow. So check this out. All right, the last one I'm gonna show you here video wise is gonna be the dynamic run. And again, we're gonna do it at two ohms mono. And let me choose track two, which is one kilohertz. And pause it and start the dyno and unpause the track smack your mama 888 woo 892 watts from a 400 watt amplifier guys <laughs> this is just blowing my mind absolutely incredible the Rockford 200 DSM series from about 1993. How do you like that? She's barely warm. She's ready for some more. Hook this bad boy up to some subs. That's what I'm talking about.
There you have it guys, a Rockford Punch 200 DSM on the SMD Demore Engineering Amp Dyno. Blowing me away. Old school amps guys, this is why I like the old ones because you got way more than you paid for. But this one is just incredible. Um, wow, I just don't even know what else to say. The numbers speak for themselves. So there you go. Well. Now it's going to be a lot harder to find one of these on eBay because you guys are going to be snatching them up. So anyway, there you have it. The Rockford 200 DSM from 1993 on the SMD Amp Dyno. This is Big D Wiz. More test coming soon. Old school amp myths busted or proven. Stay tuned. Until next time. I'm out of here.